Sandra from Volsena. The name's Duran. Name's Hawkeye, renowned thief from Navarro. Duran, hey, you're up. <laughs> Pull yourself together. Commence the final match for the Sword Mastery Tournament Youth Division. Combatants, forward. <laughs> I'll break you like a dry noodle. Give it a try. I dare you. Time I took you down a peg, bruiser. <laughs> Almost done. I can do this. I forfeit! Hold your weapons! We have our new champion, Duran! You've come far in your training, lad. Duran, soldier from Valsena, Kingdom of the Plains. His father, Loki, the Golden Knight and friend to the hero king, Richard, went missing when the young soldier was but a child. His mother succumbed to sickness and grief, leaving him and his younger sister, Wendy, to their aunt, Stella. Like his father before him, the boy could not deny the pull of the blade. From a young age, he outshone all other swordsmen and eventually came to be in service to the king himself. Hang in there. The next shift is on its way. Hmm. I'll do one more round in the meantime.
Papa, where are you going? Off to slay some dragons. The fearsome beast known as the Dragon Lord is the strongest of its kind. But don't worry. His Highness and I won't lose. Now, take care of your mother and sister while I'm gone. Understood, son? Madam, your husband, Loki, he took a blow meant for me, causing both him and the Dragon Lord to fall into the depths of an abyss. My men and I searched the area for a week, but to no avail. We could not find Loki. I see. He fulfilled his duties as the Golden Knight until the very end. I'm sure that's what he would have won. Did. <sighs> Simone, my lady. Oh, Stella. How could you let your illness go untreated for so long, Simone? If Loki knew I was ill, he would have neglected his duties for my sake. I just couldn't hold him back like that. You're, you're both such fools. Stella, my children. Do not fret, Simone. I will take care of them as if they were my own. You have... my thanks. Simone? Be sleeping on the job. What? Oh, don't give in. What happened here? Huh? What's that? You are sharper than you look. <laughs> What's so funny? The fact that you are considered the best fighter in this miserable castle. I think it's time I show you how powerless you really are. No more talking! <laughs> oh, is that all?
What senile old fool would entrust the security of the castle to a child? Oh, my apologies. You work for the king, do you not? What? Don't you dare insult his majesty! Now the finishing blow! Someone infiltrated the castle! Find them! Huh. Seems you'll live another day. No matter. If all the king can boast is soldiers of your caliber, we can take this kingdom anytime we choose. Tonight, an unknown wizard managed to penetrate our defenses. The soldiers on duty were no match for him. Duran was the only survivor. Yeah. Witnesses say the man was wearing a red cloak. It has to be that Altanish cur. The Crimson Wizard. You mean Altanus and a spy? <laughs> no honor among the lot of them. We should mount a full-scale attack on their forces before they sneak in again. Who's with me? Right! Hold! There is no definitive proof that Altena sent the intruder. Nor would they have reason to attack our kingdom in the first place. We cannot act rashly. Whoever attacked last night got past our defenses and some of our best soldiers. If we act hastily, we could fall into our enemy's trap. First, we must strengthen the castle's defenses and increase the guard. Then we shall send our own spies into Altanish territory. Yes, sir! But why would the true queen of Altena attack Valsena of all places? Whining, huh? I walk around town, might clear my head some.
Got you covered. Welcome, young man. This shop is for reading fortunes. Your pinched face tells me you have a lot on your mind, son. My what? People's lives are 99% destiny. But the rest of your future is always shaped by your will. It is up to you to decide. We call that final 1% hope. Come now. <laughs> Anyone can see you bear a great burden. Let this old bird set you on the right path. Fortunes? Why would I trust my fate to something like that? All I believe in is strength. But I'll listen to what you have to say if you tell me how to become more powerful. Manners, you oaf. No need for rudeness. <laughs> to become more powerful, you must head to Holy City Wendell. The Priest of Light can teach you how to switch your class. My class? Son, you listen and you listen good. Even a clueless fighter like yourself can eventually change to a better class. Now get out of my shop! Switching classes, huh? It means I can defeat the Crimson Jerk. I'll do anything. Well, better head to Wendell. See what all this fuss is about. The conniving, murderous, crimson wizard is dead meat. I won't let him get away. Not again. I won't come back until he's finished. I won't.
Here. I know you already have a bronze sword, but take this instead. Is this? This is the sword your father used when he was a young man. Back in the day, he even won a tournament with it against the young king himself. Oh. Now be off. I'll explain the situation to Wendy, don't worry. Be sure to stop by the castle to see the king before you leave. He's waiting to hear from you. How does he know? Don't be silly. He knew your father. Of course, the son of Loki would want to travel the world. I too knew this day would come. I've raised you as if you were my own son, after all. Thanks, Aunt Stella. I'll be back. I promise. planning a journey, Dura. Your Majesty! Forgive me. It was my weakness that allowed the enemy to escape so easily. I wish to atone for my mistakes. I cannot forgive the wizard for what he did. For the first time in my life, I was utterly powerless. He not only defeated me, he insulted you, my king! He must pay for this. I do not plan to return home until he has answered for these crimes. I... cannot. Acknowledged. You have my blessing on your journey. Thank you, Your Majesty. <laughs> His resolve is truly admirable. I'd fear that perhaps he was raised too proud, but I see that he is just like his father at that age.
Just you wait, Crimson Wizard. I ain't gonna stop until I'm more than powerful enough to take you down. You won't get away with this. I will defeat you. Bested by the Crimson Wizard, nearly lost confidence in his skills. He set out for Holy City Wendell to gain the strength to overcome his failings.
comes to Ferolia. Don't resist, and we may spare you. Ferolian forces have taken the town and closed the docks. Now my ship's stuck in the harbor until who knows when. Chad's been taken? What are these beastmen up to? I'd love to throw them all out of town, but there's only one of me. Men of Ferolia look like humans during the day, but at night they transform into animals. Don't leave the house after dark. You hear? Hey, if you're trying to leave the city, night is actually best. Once the beastmen transform, they lose their better judgment. The whole lot of them tend to get together and brawl amongst themselves until dawn. It's easier to sneak out of the city then. Good luck. we we'll rest at the inn until nightfall. Guards will thin out by then. A trained swordsman knows when to pick his battles. Pardon me. My younger brother is missing, and I must find him as soon as possible. Have you perchance seen a little lost boy around here? I see. Thank you, anyway.
some peace and quiet? Back off! You can't get anything past me. Huh! <laughs> 